screen. Here we have two hot question related to lines and angles. Let's see, and we'll conclude our chapter. So here, first one, uh, not first one. We'll go with the second and then first. Why? Because so we need the space for the first one. So let's see the second one first. In the figure, an equilateral triangle. This is your equilateral triangle. And we know that each angle of an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. We'll use that concept. Okay. Next, uh, EAB surmounted. Surmounted means it will be on the top of that square and inside of that square. So they have taken here AB and ABC is a square here. So if you look at this, uh, and we need to find X and Y this value, this two values. Very simple. This will be your uh, uh, what? This will be your uh, 15 uh, and this will be your 45. How? How would you say like? That? Let's see how to find this value. And directly whenever you get this type of problem in MCQ. If you we'll see, this is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle give you 60 degrees. That's why each angle is 60 degrees. And square give you 90 degrees. Now, this square side AB is a what? Side of the square. And same thing, AB is the side of equilateral triangle. That means this part AB is equals to BC, AB is equals to your BD. That means we can say that BD equals to BC. So in triangle BCE, BE equals to BC. Since AB equals to BC and AB equals to B, if sides are equal, then we can apply here isosceles triangle property. That means angle must be equal so you need to write the presentation just i'll move it here that is in triangle just to say that we have ab equals to your bc side of a square side of a square okay and uh, this one we we'll write here and ab equals to your be side of an equilateral triangle side of an equi Lateral, okay, right here, equilateral triangle. From 1 and 2, things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. Eclipse actions will apply here. This is like BC equals to BE. And if you see that this give you in triangle, we'll get here angle BEC equals to angle BCE. And each equals to what? Y. They have given here. Y. So this will be your y. Now in triangle B C E, what you can see that this is y. This is y. That y plus y plus sixty. Okay, we'll write here. Uh, first we'll find out. First we need. Okay, after that I'll rub this space. We need a space. Rub this to get this space. So here, what we are getting that angle B. A T equals to what 60 degree. Angles of equilateral triangle. You will see most Next angle B not B, sorry, my mistake here. Uh, e B A and this will be your C B A give you 90 degree. That is angle of a square. Add this two, we'll get here angle B, not B, C, B, E equals to 60 plus 90, that is 150. Now, if we we'll enter into the triangle, in triangle B, C, E, you can see that Y plus Y plus 150 equals to 180, and this will give you 2Y equals to 30 degrees and y equals to 50 degrees so after getting 50 degrees we know that a e b equals to 60 degree angle of a equilateral triangle that means now x plus y will give you 60 degree and the y we have as 15 degree and this will give you x 45 degree okay you need to write angle of a angle of an equilateral triangle do presentation by your own i hope you can do okay next uh, we'll proceed 
your second number, first number. Let's see here. Very interesting problem. Uh, it's a hard problem. You need to think a little bit. Very easy. Not hard that much. Okay. So what we have? We have AB equals to AC. Look at the diagram. In, uh, in book, book also they have given the wrong diagram. This is not the correct diagram. But I have taken the diagram the way it is given in the book. They are saying here AB equals to AC. This can't be possible with the diagram. If you look at the diagram, you cannot say that AB equals to AC. It is not like that. This looks like your right angle triangle. Okay. There is a mistake in the diagram. That's why I have taken the same diagram and I need to clarify it with you. Okay. Now, this means we can say that if AB equals to AC, that means this angle, angle B, must be equal to angle C here. That means here, angle B equals to angle C. So you write here in triangle, what we have in triangle ABC, ABC we have in triangle ABC. This one we use here, isosceles triangle property. We apply this one, isosceles triangle property. Next, uh, take it uh, this one, take it this as your x. If you take this one as your x, then what you can see that this will be your x. Why? Because if you look at this triangle, two sides are equal. If sides are equal, their opposite angle must be equal. We will see in the uh, triangle uh, chapter. And here, you can apply isosceles triangle property that in isosceles triangle property, if sides are equal, their corresponding angles must be equal here. So here, x equals to x. Now, if you see this one, what you can see, that, uh, okay, this is your x, x, and next you enter into that as y, you take it as y. Now, question will ask, why you are taking x and why you are taking y? You can't go with the name. Yes, you can go with the name, but it will be hectic for you, and it will be, uh, what we can say, confusions, it will create a confusion. So it's better if you go x and y. So why I'm taking b as your x and uh, a as your y? Because here our target is a to b, they are asking a to b. So we are taking that one. Okay. So if you take this one as y, then this must be your y. If this this is your y and this is your y, you can see that by extra angle property, you can say that this is your 2y and this must be your 2y. Now, if you see this one, what you can see that this part, if you look at the triangle A, E, C, A, E, C, X is the exterior angle of this triangle A, E, C. That means exterior angle property will apply. See, right now only we have applied the exterior angle property. That the extra angle property says that some of the two interior angles must be equal. Okay. With the outside exterior angle. So here, very good. So we will apply this one, we can see that x must be equal to your y plus plus y plus 2y. So from here only we are getting. So presentation you do by your So here we are getting x equals to y plus 2y. And we are getting here x equals to 3y and this will give you what you take this y here, keep your y here and x come here that will be get here 1 by 3 equals to y by x and y we have taken as what that is your angle a and this is your angle b and that will give you a equals to b equals to 1 is the Here we have applied exterior angle property and isosceles triangle property. Two property we have applied here. And uh, next uh, next problem is A E D. A E is already equals to Y. We need to show that B is B C E equals to Y. Very simple. Why? Because already angle B equals to angle C. And uh, if you take this one angle B, uh, B is your X. Keep it your X. And here and angle C. Angle C can be written as what? We can write here angle uh, angle B C E plus 2Y and we know that 
x already we have got from here that is x equals to 3y we apply here x equals to 3y we will get here 3y equals to what angle b c e plus 2y and this give you angle b c e equals to 3y minus 2y give you y which is equals to angle a e g that only they are asking you to prove i hope it is clear do presentation by your own. Thank you.